Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a two case break of 2023 Tops Series 2 Baseball Jumbo Edition. 12 boxes total. This is random team break number two. Two Super Bowl squares being given away. And for tonight only, we're giving away five extra spots within the break itself. So we only sold 25 spots outright. Let's gather everybody's names. Let's get some new dice right there. Top five after seven, we'll get extra spots. Three and a four, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got the five right here. Tristan, David twice, Darren, Tristan again. Let's copy that. Get your names in there. We'll put little, little rooftop symbols next to your name so you can differentiate it between the winning spots and the other spots. Now let's randomize you a team. All 30 teams are in, no combos. Let's roll it, randomize names and teams. Five and a six, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 11th and final time. Got Tristan down to Michael. Five and a six, 11 times for the teams. Two, three, four, five, six. And 11th and final time. We got Pirates down to Reds after 11. All right, Tristan with the Pirates, David with the Royals, um, Nguyen with the Tigers, Jeremy with the Diamondbacks, Charles with the Marlins, uh, Tristan with the Astros, Brian with the Braves, uh, Tristan with the Orioles, Robert with the Nationals, Tristan with the Rangers, Darren with the Mariners, Harry with the Angels, I with the Cubs, Darren with the Phillies, David with the Rays, I with the Brewers, Chris with the Giants, Harry with the Padres, Charles with the uh, White Sox, Dennis with the Guardians, Richard with the A's, David, Red Sox, Mets, Cardinals, uh, Last Bond Mojo, Richard with the Dodgers, Chad with the Rockies, Jeremy with the Blue Jays, Michael with the Yankees, Kevin with the Twins, and Michael again with the Reds. All right, there is going to be a trade window, so we're going to pause the video just for a little bit, and when we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so that list right there remains the same. Wednesday the 7th, hump day. Double header, case number two. And I'm gonna make that note to myself because by the by the end of this break I may forget that we're giving away two Super Bowl squares and this. Alright, here are the cases. 2023 Series 2 Jumbo. Stretch out the hands a little bit here. All right, and away we go. Got record breakers, box toppers. Set that right there, silver packs. <laughs> Red, I may need something a little stronger than Red Bull, David. Rex will hook me up with something stronger than Red Bull. I'm sure Rex might know some guys in the in the middle of uh, you know in the middle of uh, Indiana, small town Indiana. They might be able to Rex. You can FedEx me a, a meth or something like that. And I could 
I could um, one of those. That's how you do meth, right? I don't know how that works, to be honest with you. Smoke. Earmuffs, kids. How do you do that? Do you smoke that? Oh. How do you do that? How do you do that? Is it? I have no idea. I don't even know where you put like the thing into the thing. Feel free to help out. Help with what? <laughs> what do you want me to help you with? Hack sack this this break. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> when Jason comes back. Yeah, that's right. You don't have to. I would love to actually. All right, there's Gene Segura. I don't know who are the who are the key players in this 2023 series too. I don't even know. I'm not even gonna sleeve those. It's, this is already gonna take way too long. I can't sleeve everything here. Who are the key rookies here? Oh, Josh Young maybe. Don't know. Uh, you you did dunk it. Oh yeah, this is. All right. Uh, there's this guy, and a how about a Nolan Gorman autograph? This guy's pretty good. Oh right, this is Corbin Carroll, Gunnar Henderson, Jordan Walker, Josh Young, etc. All right. Nice Nolan Gorman though. I know this guy. That is to one ninety nine. That's gonna be for David in St. Louis. So we'll just sleeve these. No, Rex is in is Indiana. Yeah, that yes, Duncan. <laughs> I don't I don't know how it works. It's not my thing. It's some people's thing. Carrot Mitchell, future Hall of Famer. I'll be I'll be sleeving everybody by then. I think Corbin Carroll and your Rookie of the Year award winner, um, Gunnar Henderson for sure. Here's Taylor Walls to 2023. I mean, when are we going to stop? Then everyone, then we're going to be sleeving every rookie card. I can't do that. Although I do like James Allen a lot. There's Alfonso Rivas, there's Levon Soto. That's numbered to 300. That's the uh, stat background, I think, with the stats. I like those playing cards. I wish there were some other cards there too. There's a Austin Hayes, silver. Goldschmidt. But there are some strong rookies in this class. Spencer Steer had a nice year as well. Try to, I'm going to try to spot as many of those. There's a Dansby Swanson gold. As many of those uh, Corbin Carrolls and Gunnar Hendersons, your rookies of the year, as much as possible. But in the interest of speed, I might miss some. But I'm, I won't miss any numbered ones. That's for sure. Or any of these like gold foil ones of those key players. There's Gene Segura to 2023 for Charles and the Marlins. And Volpe's in this too, right? This is this is a pretty good class. I mean, hopefully, if at least half that group kind of keeps uh, 
keeps going, you know, maybe become perennial all-stars. That would be awesome. Here's a Colton Wong, and here is uh, Randy Arzarania, Major League Material. Wait, Rex, what was your question again? Sorry, we got sidetracked by, by, by talk of illicit goods. This is for the Rays, David M. I mean, Yoshida is a rookie in this. Estre Ruiz might score, might steal 100 bases someday. There's our Corbin Carroll. There's Miles Straw. And these are pretty cool. 18 out of 299. Your NL League leader, Triple Crown medallion here, commemorative patch. Steve Carlton. Phillies. It'll be for Darren. My favorite ethnic food. Hmm. Probably Italian food. Followed by... Followed by Mexican food. Korean food, but no, that was just food growing up. Mixed in with Italian food. I mean, to me, it doesn't. To me, that's just food. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty lucky that Southern California has, has a wide range of ethnicities, thus a lot of different food. Oh, I forgot these silver packs right here. But yeah, I suppose to a non-Korean audience, or even non-Korean American audience, Korean food would be considered an ethnic food. So I'll throw that in there. Korean barbecue is pretty good. Italian food. Pretty good. That's an ethnic food, right? And then Mexican food, I think. I think that I think I think that's kind of like the top three there. San Diego has a uh, little, uh, little Italy, and um, man, a lot of great restaurants there. Middle Eastern kebabs. There is a great, uh, there's a great Mediterranean food place that a lot of great, uh, great kebabs with uh, with some pita, some hummus on the side. Pretty good stuff. That's why, uh, that's why I've never, that's why I, I, I try to avoid you know, for a variety of reasons, but I just, I try to avoid uh, a lot of chain restaurants or fast food restaurants because there's so many, you know, if I want a burger, I can, number of different places I can go to get a burger. I don't need to go to Burger King, you know. There's the Brewers to 76. You know, if I, so there's so many food options here, but I don't need to, 
go to chain restaurants. Your dad went to Poland, visit your brother in Poland, and said, careful with the menu out there? Why? I don't know. Why, yeah, why would Poland have pasta? Well, I mean, Italian food here isn't like Italian food in Italy, Rex. I feel like there's some funny TikTok videos. Oh, that's autographed. Look at that. 13 out of, I'm glad I checked. 13 out of 25, Tristan McKenzie. An ace autograph. Nice. You're all aces autograph. That goes to Dennis and the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. I didn't even know those could be autographed. Yeah, I know, Dave. Sorry. Is today the last day of rain? And then we, we start to clear things up a little bit? I hope. He says they have some restaurants, American themes. Can you imagine being an American tourist and then going to an American themed restaurant when you're in Poland? <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. But I guess enough people do that. There's a Christian Walker to 2023, Jeremy Smith with the Diamondbacks. Try to catch as much of those Volpies as possible. You went to a McDonald's in Paris? Come on, Logan. Although it is a little different there, though, isn't it? But can't do that. Can't do that. Oh, they actually, they, you guys actually went? They, or your dad and your brother actually went? I mean, I would just poke my head in maybe. I wouldn't actually dine there. I can't imagine it would be good. <laughs> Get a royal tree. You know, on the account of the metric system. I kind of wish, though, is it really called a royale with cheese, or is that just from the movie? Logan? Breakfast is now. I'll bet. You're still doing this break? <laughs> Shut up. Get out of here. Get out of here. I love this break. This is my favorite. I wish we would, I wish we had dual cases every day. You bought a big man. Remember it being it being Big Mac? So I wonder if they call... It'd be funny if they just called the quarter pounder with cheese just the quarter pounder with cheese. Ovens so work with magnets? Why don't... Why don't we have this magnet technology? What's up with that? Maybe it's the gas industry. Big gas doesn't want our ovens to be taken over by magnets. There's a Jazz Chisholm. Piece of his lumber. Going to Miami. That's going to go to Charles. No more diamond icons, but we got luminaries. Pick your team two is loaded up.
I hope they just call, still call it a quarter pound of cheese in Paris or in France. I guess in Europe. Here's a triple crown. Carl Yastrzemski, Yaz, going to Boston, the commemorative relic heading out to David M. I'll bet it's big, big natural gas, Rex. They don't want us to have magnet ovens. Follow the money, Rex. All those Volpes go to Michael. Got the Yankees. I'm gonna try to catch as much of those as possible, but we're trying to find some bigger fish to fry, right? We wanna find some numbered cards, maybe some autographs. Wait, yeah. What about pacemakers? What are people with pacemakers? Uh, they just can't cook? Hmm. I feel like I feel like there's a hole in Rex's story. I think sometimes these uh, silver pack cards have numbered or uh, autograph possibilities in here as well. So. Record breakers, Adley Rushman, nice, Orioles. That will be for uh, Tristan. Maybe is Rex talking about induction cookers? I don't know what Rex is talking about. I don't know, yeah, I feel like that's a huge liability. I think pacemakers, right? Magnet issues? wealth of information John uh, the accuracy could be could be uh, something to be desired though over the years that's what we've noticed David M says Google says magnet cooking is real oh magnetic is induction cooking says Duncan well what uh, can anyone address the uh, pacemaker issue with Terry is it a pay, like, I feel like pacemakers can get. The pants have magnetic bottoms. If you set it on the stove and it immediately turns on and then shuts off. Hmm. Yeah, big natural gas definitely put, put the kibosh on that. Zell. Oh, this is a this is a case hit. Here's a home field advantage. Tristan Casas, very similar to like those Panini downtown cards. That's going to be for David in the Red Sox. Or a super short print, maybe. Either way, still nice. Huh, so it doesn't affect pacemaker then. Right, it's the tops version of downtown cards. It looks to look pretty cool though. Yeah, yeah. 
Still going? Still going. Like the Energizer Bunny here. There is Miles Mastroboni. My Xbox gamer tag is Energized Fuse. Energized what? Fuse. Were you trying to work in your Xbox name in here so people can follow you? No. And game with you? Is that, is that, your, that your thing? Yeah. It turns out there's a ton of rookies in series too. Ton. Please, please don't add me on Xbox. No one's gonna be watching this part of the series two video. <laughs> <laughs> they're just gonna skip to the. Uh, they're gonna skip to the. Uh, to the what you call it? The recap at the end. Here's a Twins team card to 2023. Uh, David M. has the Royals, by the way. This is the Master Boney card. This is Jordan Walker. Magnetic fields can induce heat. Sounds like a safe oh, one. I'm telling you, we don't have... We don't have uh, those induction cookers because big natural gas has made sure that that's not going to happen. Yeah, I was going to say you can show that. Another box that's, offer there. It's from the box I'm opening. You can see. You can see me struggling to open packs. Here. Right. And trust me, Michael doesn't want your Series 2 card, so don't <laughs> worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Do all card ship? Uh, no vet common ship. I was gonna say. Why? Why is bidets capitalized? Is that the brand name, like Kleenex? I don't think I've ever used a bidet before. Me neither. Now that I think about it. It always confused me. Like, don't you have to like dry off your butt after? How do you? Yeah. So what do you do that with? Is there like a towel? Or you just have a soggy butt for a little bit? Your underwear is a little wet? Yeah, I guess. I mean, that's better than a, a soiled butt. That's true. Yeah, David, you're, <laughs> David's like, man, thank God no vet comments. But... This will ship though, this Anthony Volpe. Maybe you will find some numbered cards of his. Shoot it. Come on, Brandon. Pull it back. No, that's not a three point shot. I should have not done it this way. <laughs> <laughs> there were ways to do that. A giant tower. <laughs> of slippery cards, probably not the best way to do that. That's right, John. John was in Korea for a little bit. Had one in your apartment and never used it. Right, you can still use it the other way, right? You can just use it the normal way. I'm intrigued. Maybe we should get one for the shop. For the shop? Yeah. I mean... Keep those bottoms clean. All right, onwards. That's gold. That's a gold box top. Box top for the Yankees. Oh, yeah, it has this border. Yeah, you, you think the bidet would be such a hit that people would just be spending hours in the toilet? 30, 36 out of 50. No one was more consistent than Rivera. Who writes this stuff? <laughs> wow. That'll go to the Yankees. That'll be for Michael. Michael I get, S. I get that? Michael, unless you're Michael Sableton. There's this guy. E guy. E guy. And there's a Michael Harris relic. Nice. 
Kershaw Advanced Stats is a short print. I've, how long ago was that? Look left, look left. Look right, look to your right. That would have been numbered to like 300, wouldn't it? I don't know, with the lag on YouTube, by the time someone mentions something, I've probably gone a zillion cards by, oh, this? I think this was just a, a Texas card. The advanced stats, I think, are numbered to 300, they'd so I would have, I would have, and they'd be backwards, yeah. That gold one's numbered that way, yeah. Not that no, it's one. not. Yeah, this one? Marcus Simeon to 2023. DL Hall, Gold Foil, Steve Carlton, another one. Another Triple Crown one. There's Mo again, Legends of the Game. And here's to four ninety nine, Harrison Bader. Green bubbles? Ice? What do they call those? I feel like they change the name on those all the time. What are the what what's this what's this pattern called, ladies and gentlemen? Officially. Just foil. It's just foil. Foil? Rainbow foil? Speckle? I don't think those are called speckled. Speckles are just something else. Confetti? No. Now you now you're pulling my leg. What up, Chris? How you doing, man? Not that I would ever do this, but how, on a scale of 1 to 10, how upset would you be if I just knocked over all the Towers of Mars? Um, on a scale of 1 to 10? Yeah. Like, 1 being not upset at all? Yeah. And 10 being, like, what? Just a murderous rage? Yeah. Like, I won't be coming to work tomorrow. Wow. I don't know. Probably about a 5. Really? <laughs> It'd be kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Kind of pile them all up together like it's like a bunch of playing cards or something like that. Yeah, but then we'd be on like some. Yeah, that's true. Hobby Instagram page. Right, right. Hobby at, at hobby scammers on TikTok yeah. or something like that. Look at these guys knocking over this valuable, valuable series that's two. Numbered. You're numbered. <laughs> Ford Proctor to 2023 Giants. That's all your guys' yeah. numbered cards would get lost That'll in be the for sauce Chris if it wasn't for me. I mean, the shipping team, the sorting and shipping team would catch it. We avoid any risk. Right, sports yeah. card radio would be like... Here are uh, the, all the silver packs pack stacked right there. The remaining ones. Yeah, I was happier because I know he was going to help me out. Which I appreciate. There's Ryan Kreidler. Tigers rookie auto for Hui Nguyen. Exactly, Grizz. Six out of 50. 
I was saying this year's uh, tops will be kind of interesting with uh, like some of the black borders will be there'll be probably less PSA tens, right? Because you know you'll be able to see flaws easier, which I think might be better because then the base rookies might have some sort of value. Right. Chris Taylor and a black All Aces card. I don't know if that. Oh, it is numbered to two ninety nine. We saw an autograph, Tristan McKenzie autograph on, oh, yeah? on an All Aces card. Yeah, it looked really cool. I love those cards. I was like, they should make the whole a whole like deck, but maybe there might be someone who's like, I don't want to be two <laughs> <laughs> or, or a queen. I, you know what, speaking of pop ones, I've considered just grading random cards that I feel like no one would grade. <laughs> <laughs> and get pop ones out of them. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You got it. There we go. You Darvish, Aaron Saval. I don't know why that cracks me up. Just some random card, you go to some like guy at a card show, pop one, <laughs> pop one, and be like, what? I don't even know that player. Pop Max, one. Max Christie, pop one. Would you buy it? Yeah. Would you be upset if they shipped him off? Yes. Max Christie, future all star Max Did Christie. Did Kershaw sign back? Kershaw re signed with the Dodgers with a, with a player option. This is going to go to Richard. Trevino, and we got a Mike Yastrzemski Major League Material. Hey, Mike, are you done running the list, or we're just going to do it like... We'll do it live. No, after you randomize it, just... Whatever. Chris Parent with the Giants. Uh, when we randomize the list and they assign a number, then I have to do it again? Yeah. And like if zero wins, then it goes to that person? Yeah. Today I learned that Willie Mays is still alive. Was it Willie McCovey that passed away recently? I, I, thought, no I thought Willie Mays was no longer with us. Two Corbin Carrolls in a row? Nice. Got the Rays to 2023. That, that team will go to David. Wait, Willie Mays is still alive? Oh, yeah. He's 92, I want to say. And Spencer Steer. He's right there. He had a nice season last year. I think you just need a shoebox for this. I don't know. Really <laughs> two monster boxes, right? All right, so the... These are the final two boxes of the first case right there. Michael's got the second case right over there. Rumble, rumble. 
There's Dodgers Max Muncy. There's Greg Maddox. There's Andrew McCutcheon. Jacob DeGrom. Yeah, set builders still out there, like Terry. My girlfriend's uh, stepdad is a set builder. Set builder. Yeah. What does what fun sets does he have? What well, like the uh, these. Like he gets like the whole base sets of of like series one and yeah. two. Wow. The garage is just crazy. There's Nelson Cruz, Padres edition to twenty twenty three. Yeah, whenever I go to the National, I'm always surprised at how many people are walking around with huge binders or big lists of stuff and they're trying to complete sets. You've been to the National? I have. The old, the National. You can go to this year's. Have fun in Cleveland. <laughs> it's not even Cleveland, Cleveland. It's like far away from Cleveland. Here's a Maglio Ordonez. Remember him? 190 out of 199. The, uh, old Chicago, one old Chicago Chicago White Sox, Charles. Chicago one was not in Chicago. Yeah, but there's still stuff to do in the area. I feel like, I think Nick went to one in Cleveland many moons ago. Doesn't this look different? Oh, no, that's the uh, blue short Just the print, blue, blue short print? print. Yeah. Just notice this. Brian, with the uh, Braves. Remember when we were sitting at the hotel bar and I looked over next drink? I do remember that. And then everyone was, like, laughing at you, and they were like, what's your first time in a bar, bro? And then I started crying. And then you started crying, and then everyone felt bad, and you ran away. With your, with your hands in your face like this. Yeah. Hidden gems. Whoa. Ken Griffey Jr. Nice. These must these must be short printed. They are very short printed. Very short printed. And that is Mariner's edition of Ken Griffey Jr. Nice. Some surprises here in this two case break. That's gonna be for Darren, who won a spot in the filler, got randomized the Mariners, and gets his Ken Griffey Jr. with the uh, speckle pattern in the background. Nice. Doesn't look like it's numbered, but short printed. Nice. I did get that a lot, Grizzlebees, when we were there. And there were a lot of uh, Brewers fans there. A lot of people in uh, Brewers jerseys. PNC Park, there's Will Smith. Commemorative relic for the Cardinals. That's going to go to David M. Are there free spots? Uh, five. Uh -huh. Or, yeah, Darren won this free spot, not the spot from a We didn't do a filler. Darren knows what I mean. Darren gets it. To how much? 100. What's the rollover? Do I have to play like $500 you have to worth? Play to what you, de you deposited. Oh, okay. There's Willie Casper to $4.99. For the twins, that's going to be for Kevin. And here is Trey Turner. Phillies, that's going to go to Darren. 
Danny saying the PSA 9 of that Griffey went for 850 bucks. Wow. Those are like super rare. Crypto.com is nowhere near the Santa Monica Pier. Corbin Carroll. And we got Marcus Simeon to 2023 for the Rangers. There's the babe. Wow, it's one in every 38,000 packs. Jeez, that's awesome. It's like the, um, the let's go ones. You remember those? Le okay, let's go. <laughs> I don't think I've ever pulled any of those let's goes. I pulled the uh, Francisco Alvarez oh. Super Fracture. Whoa, let's go. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're there. I was there. We were together. We were there. I pulled a couple, actually. I pulled a gunner and I pulled a red Machado. Christine was fun when that came out. We were at the time. Right? She did, actually. It was nice. Bring, bring some Christine back. Not a short print if you print 38 million times. <laughs> Castro and a Brandon Drury. Brandon Drury won a silver slugger? 269 out of 299. Hmm. I guess he did. Yeah. Uh yeah, I'll have you'll have to wait until the recap. I'm Knee deep in series two right now. It's already going to take long enough, even with Michael's help. And we got a Joey Votto to 199. I think he's still a free agent. Someone's got to pick him up, right? Awesome. Thank you. That'll be for Michael and the Red Legs. Actually, yeah, there is a, most of you should have a DVR feature. You can just rewind a little bit, but don't forget to make sure you're live. Jose Suarez to 2023. Angels, that'll be for Harry. Although in general, every once in a while, you should probably double check to make sure you're watching live at the current point of the stream. Let's see. Otherwise, you might be lagging behind when there's big hits or you might ask a question and you're wondering why isn't Joe answering me? You might be at a, at a lagging point. Another Corbin Carroll for Jeremy. Votto going to the Padres. I mean, they could, they could use a veteran voice in the locker room, maybe. Maybe Votto to a contender? You would think. What's What about, like, Joey Votto on, like, the... Uh, I don't know, what's a young team that could use a, a veteran presence in the locker room? Maybe the Orioles? Blue Jays? Let's well, see some Joey Votto in the playoffs would be pretty cool. The Reds are a pretty young team that could use Joey Votto. Yeah, they could use Joey Votto. Yeah, I don't know why the 
Reds are just re-signing. Oh, is Votto going to go to the booth? Oh, so maybe, maybe he's done. Although I don't think he announced his retirement. Just realize he this Reds weren't going to re-sign. I don't know. I haven't been keeping up on on Votto news. There's Zach Gallon to 99. Jeremy with the Diamondbacks. Yeah, I, that's true. He is Canadian. Maybe he would want to go back to Canada. Yeah, that's the rain. I thought someone had a hose and was spraying their... TV signal. Oh, their TV signal is lost. Satellite. Yeah. yeah. It happened to me on a Thursday. When usually, I was usually we don't have that problem in Southern California weather. Affecting our direct TV. Garrett Mitchell to 2023. That's for I from the Brewers. And there's Trace Thompson to 499. That'll be for the Dodgers. Richard. Someone had. <laughs> We're so Southern California. We're like rain and wind. It's blowing it around. It is fascinating though. We don't get this. People are people are like, this is like this is like summer in the Midwest, and they're like, oh, we don't get this. We don't get this. And the wind is blowing around the water. It's Corbin Carroll. We got Cole Calhoun. We got Stone Garrett for the Diamondbacks. That's for Jeremy, who has a snakes. He's a cold hearted snake. Look into his eyes. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh. Wow. And then there was an earthquake. That's right. I did hear about that. There was an earthquake in Tulsa, and we're getting wild rain, rainstorms. It's like the tables have turned. Yes. I mean, not yes, but... <laughs> Did your prize picks hit? No, Jonas got hurt. Oh, can't root for that. There's 72, Nick Castellanos. I had a, his over on rebounds. Ah, but you got his over? Well, no. It's, uh, it becomes a push if they get hurt oh. in the first half. Darren with the Phillies. 5.1, yeah, it's it'll 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 knock a it'll knock a mug off the table. <laughs> Might knock over a picture frame or two. All that green. All right, here are your silver pack cards. Silver packs. Silver packs. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, nice. Lenyon Sosa. Oh, Sammy Sosa. Different Sosa. But I told you, some of these silver pack cards can be autographed. Charles with the Chicago White Sox. 18 out of 299. Yeah, 18 out of 299. Is that Richard Jefferson doing color commentary? Doesn't he come to our shop and not talk to us? He's pretty talkative here. He has one point? Washed. <laughs> 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 Trey.
trade him. Those are for, from the first three boxes of the second case, guys. First three boxes, second case. Just a bunch of silver packs. I don't know if I've just missed them, but I don't think I've seen any Gunnar Henderson in the first case. I don't, I don't know if he's in Oh, he doesn't. All right. We have... Rex said that earthquake in Oklahoma was felt over 300 miles away. That's how earthquakes work, Rex. Oh, maybe Gunner was Series 1? Uh, I think he was. He has, like, the inserts. Back in, a, back in the day, I've seen some inventions in a, from, like, ancient China where they had, like, the mouth of a dragon will hold a marble in its jaws. And then when an earthquake happened the ball would fall out of the the mouth of the dragon and they'd be able to find out what direction the earthquake came from and sometimes it would be hundreds and hundreds of miles away. When, a, when faults slip, that's, that's a large piece of earth. Creates a lot of vibrations in the earth. Brian Reynolds, there's Willie Casser to 199 for the twins. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. That'll be for Kevin and Minnesota. Minnesota. Big. There's Kyle Tucker to 2023 for the Strohs. Quakes are just the Earth's digestive system. How so? Detroit to 25, nice. A little camo action right there. Now, earthquakes are more like, I mean, it's not like the Earth isn't eating anything. Earthquakes are more like you like cracking your knuckles or something like that. If you want to use the a body metaphor. And even then it's not it's not quite right. And we've got a Matt Walner autograph. Rookie auto for the Twins. Kevin, Minnesota. Batting average leaders, George Brett. The blue background, the blue parallel. Nice, thanks Michael. Oh, Logan hitting us with a conspiracy theory. Earthquakes are government created like COVID. There's no cure for earthquakes either. Oh, look at this. Nice. Adley Rushman, heavy lumber. Well, Rex, you're, 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 you're catering to a upper tier intellectual audience here. 
You got you. You're Tristan with the Orioles. Your jokes have to be higher level. That might that might work with the that might work with the guys at Kroger. It's not gonna work for sharp guys like me and Michael here. What do you what do you need in this game? For him to make two three point three pointers. Who Brandon Ingram? Yeah, he's got to just shoot one and then get the ball. It's Kevin Biggio and a Randy Johnson. It's <clears throat> pretty much all I need. Commemorative relic. And yeah, that's that's all I need. David. I didn't. I went to a Cal State. Oh. I went to a UC. UC San Diego. Go Tritons. San Diego State, baby. Division. Well, you know, we're State. Division not one now. We might see you guys oh, yeah? in uh, some sporting activity. <laughs> and I think we're different conferences. Oh, there's Jonathan India. There might be non-conference games set up. Jonathan India relic going to Michael and the Red Legs. Terry went to Cal State Northridge. That's where uh, that's where our guy Thomas is playing baseball. Thank you, Michael. Everyone, thank you, Michael. That's going to get us to uh, luminaries a lot sooner now. Uh, UC Irvine, the home of the. Ant Eaters in Irvine? Ah, UCSC lost to SES by one oh, early in the season. Let's call him a Q to 2023. There's a weird rule that I didn't realize until this happened to my school, is that their NCAA, well, they're officially Division One but they're not eligible for the tournament for like two or three seasons. I don't know why that would be in effect. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a level of, maybe there'll be a, there's a level of travel or something like that that they want to get teams accustomed to or whatever, but I, I don't know what that is, what that's about, so. All right, and aren't they expanding, I don't follow college too closely, but Aren't they expanding the field? Or they've always talked about expanding the field. They're expanding the field for college football. But are they expanding for the bracket? Yeah, I've been kind of keeping track of them on... I haven't really watched a minute of UCSD basketball, but I feel like, uh, I, feel like I see some scores on, my, on the ESPN app. And it's like, oh, it's, they won again. But it's like, yeah, it's a weird rule. I'm sure there's a reason for the rule, but. John did undergrad at OSU. Uh, Oregon State University or Oklahoma State University? My aunt did her undergrad at, uh, at the University of Oklahoma. So somewhere I should bring this picture in. Somewhere there's a, there's a picture of, of young Joe, toddler Joe, with, with a uh, OU, a maroon OU sweater, which, which I feel like if I had that in an adult vintage version, that would be pretty cool. Oh, Ohio State University. That could have, if I, my parents stayed in, my parents stayed in uh, Warren, Ohio. Might have been where I would have ended up. I, I guess I would have been a fan of Cleveland sports at that point. So maybe that was a bullet 
a, a bullet dodge. Thanks, parents. 23 out of 50. What was I in school? I'm definitely not a jock. You know, not a lot of athletes that are five, six hundred and thirty to one hundred and fifty pounds. Although I did play some intramural flag football in college. Good slot receiver, Wes Welker like. So 2023, Videl Bruhan. And there is Jose Ramirez, four out of 25, autograph. Cleveland, this is for you. Dennis with the Guardians. Nice, what's going on in the, in the Twitch stream here? And there's Corbin Carroll. I feel like he should. He definitely gets fancy baseball love. I think I can still, still hit it, I can still swing it. Getting there. Getting there on the series two break. Singing songs, it'll make the break go faster. Thanks to Michael Jaspi for ripping up the boxes. He probably maybe saved us a solid 30, 40 minutes on this break, to be honest. That means we should have plenty of time to do that immaculate basketball. Ooh, someone did take a couple spots. Are we going to get that done tonight? Buy one, get one on the filler for Immaculate Basketball. Pick your team. If that does not fill tonight, we will be canceling and refunding everybody in the break. And in the fillers, obviously. You save my Sandy? No. I love this break. I wish we, I wish we could do more of this tonight. This actually eases my mind. Look how, look how calm and, and rhythmic the pace of these car shuffling is. Everyone's relaxed. Talking about government-made volcanoes. Bobby Witt Jr. signing big, big deals. Very smooth. Like that's how that's how meth works, right? It's like a gum. It's like a chewing gum. And then you go. Yeah. That's how that that's the effects, right? Joe Adele and Wilson Contreras to 2023. That'll be for David M. and the Cardinals.
Para pa pa pa. There was this one wacky uh, COVID era conspiracy theory that I thought was kind of funny. I think it was like that birds weren't real. Does anyone remember this? There was something about how, about how like birds weren't real and they were actually created by the government to spy on us or something like that. I think that's what it was. People were uh, people were posting this on social media from their mobile phones. <laughs> which which is the real government tracker. But not nah, it's spurts, it's spurts, it's spurts, 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 spurts. You have a cut oh man. What else is your what else does your cousin believe in? Or, wait, does your cousin actually believe that though? What's the difference between talking about it and believing it? I'm talking about it. I obviously don't believe it. Oh, it's one of the reasons you rarely ever see dead birds. Well, they they should try going into a uh, try going to a big city. <laughs> There's Freddie Tarnock. Ragnarok? Two out of 50. Thor Ragnarok. I don't think I've seen this parallel a lot. To 50, that's pretty cool. A's, Richard. Oh, he likes to spread disinformation for fun. Well, obviously Grizzlebees, but you you tell uh, you tell a uh, the tinfoil hat wearing wacko that and they're not gonna believe that. That would make too much sense. Jordan Walker for the Cardinals. David. Aaron Saval. And we've got an Ezekiel Tovar autograph. Nice rocks, Chad Wright with the purple mountains majesty above the fruited plain. America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good, I think, with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. And Alaska and Hawaii. And all the Ameri U.S. territories. Look at that! There's Ronnie Hernandez with a piece of masking tape on it. This got through the factory. I think someone was working at the factory. They had, you know, maybe the, the cards were being cut or being through the machine. And they're like, whoop! And they're like, shoot, there goes the masking tape. That's, someone's going to find it someday. Well, we found it, Tosh factory person. We found it. That's Ronnie uh, Enriquez going to Kevin. There it is. Some worker wasn't paying attention, left a piece of masking tape right near, right near his or her station, and then threw the machine and was like, Zoop! and he's like, damn, there it goes. Who looks like Gandalf? You think Ronnie looks like Gandalf?
You shall not pass. You shall not pass. Balrog. And I, until I smote his ruin on the mountainside. Now that's more Sean Connery than I. What if Sean Connery did? Fly, you fools. One ping, one ping only, Vasily. You shall not pass. You shall not pass, Miss Moneypenny. You shall not pass. Kodai Senga gold foil, and we got Bob Gibson, ERA leader. Imagine if imagine if Connery was Gandalf. You shall not pass, Miss Money Penny. Peace. I'll see you tomorrow. One ping, one ping only for Shelley. You know Ryan, things things don't. React well to bullets in here. One ping, one ping only for Shelly. We got Paul Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt. Cardinals. It's for David. Rex is saying people believe that regular people are banned from Antarctica because there are other lands beyond the ice and the governments of the world are keeping them secret. Also, people believe stars are not really planets that they're and that they're angels. Well, they are. That, that's they're obviously angels, Rex. But the Antarctica one, you seem to know a lot about this, Rex. I feel like you or your peers are really into that sort of stuff. I'll tell him to crack open a book. Wait, this is this a true story? They offered him a piece of the movie and he said no. Would have been like 300 million after. <laughs> Jeez. That's like, uh, what's the famous, uh, what's the other famous story? Where Blockbuster declined to pass on Netflix. Like, ah, eh, that, that's never going to work. Why would people want to get DVDs delivered to a, delivered to in the mail? Then you have to go to the, go back to the mailbox. No, they're going to come to the shop. That's where they're going to rent movies. Rex just likes going down those ra conspiracy theory rabbit holes. Imagine if you took that at time, Rex, and like, I don't know, you might, might be a doctor by now, architect. Might, might learn another language at this point. Oh yeah, there's a lot more, Duncan. See, if Michael Jaspi did not help us out here, this, this would have, I, I would have had to add like another hour. To this point right now. You read that a long time, a long time, a long time. A long time, a long time. What if uh, Sean Connery was Obi-Wan Kenobi in a new hope? Alderaan. Never seen 
bigger hive of villainy and scum. Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's, now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. A long time. There's Josh Young for the Rangers. Tristan with the Rangers. Yeah, I get, did, did, did DVD home delivery not last that long? I don't know. I, I personally never used it. Never used Netflix until they started offering streaming options. I shouldn't have been, but the other day I was shocked that that uh, our colleague Teddy Jaspi still uses Redbox. I, I wouldn't even know where a red box would be at this point. I feel like in some dodgy convenience store in the, uh, the, the seedier corners of the South Bay. Is that what you're talking about, Duncan? Like the little kiosks, vending machines? For a second, there was kind of a shadow on his upper lip that at a quick glance, it might look like he has a Raleigh finger style mustache. And I was like, George Brett with a mustache? Yeah, I think they were, they were, I feel like those, the most, the popular one here was called Redbox. I feel like there was a ton of those for a little while and then they disappeared <laughs> somewhat quickly. Wow, back in the 80s, Terry is saying the liquor store by your high school in the Valley had a machine where you can rent adult movies from. And it was VHS tapes. How would you, re how would you return them back to the counter? Or would you put it back into the, into the machine? There's J.P. Crawford to 2023, Mariners, Darren. But I see that, isn't that the whole, <laughs> come on, Duncan. Isn't that the whole, uh, isn't the whole point to be somewhat anonymous where you like, you can anonymously, or so you heard, right, 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 right. right. You wouldn't want to use the buttons on that screen. What do you think people are doing that in front of the screen, Rex? At the machine? It's in the valley. No one can. That's true. And we got a Max Muncy. Dodgers Max Muncy. All-star card. 
That's going to be Richard and the Dodgers. You wouldn't, Rex, you wouldn't want to be the one getting the returns of those videos. How about that? It's a 25. Richard and the Dodgers. And a gold foil, Jordan Walker. All right, the Valley in the 80s at a liquor store. All right, that's what I'm saying. You don't want to watch. You don't want to be the person at the counter checking those back in. You think, uh, you think those those people getting, you think those guys getting those videotapes, you think they're being kind and rewinding? Be kind, rewind. Remember, uh, You remember, um, whatchamacallit, uh, VHS Rewinders. What was everyone's, uh, if you're of a certain age, you probably had, there's Andres Jimenez to 499. If you're of a certain age, you probably had a machine that did rewinding. Did anyone have any novelty uh, there's 5872 Kevin Newman. Any novelty rewinders? I would, Danny. Especially if I was the the filmmaker. I'd be like, come on. Why, why are you not watching all of my art? I think my family had a... We had a, uh, a race car tape rewinder. And I remember in my, you know, when I was a wee lad. Ooh, nice super short print. Hang on. It is Colin McHugh for the Braves. Brian Brady with the Braves. Nice. Your first feature had a wired remote on it. How long was the wire? We had a race card. I know. I know some. I, remember, I seem to remember some friend having like a, a football v a football shaped VHS rewinder. It's actually not the same. Take a, just, this actually does look pretty different because he's in like warm up stuff. Think about everybody else. They're in some sort of action. Right? It's all, it's all an action shot of them either batting or pitching. So when like this card comes around, it is a little jarring because they're, they're in like pregame warm up gear. and not doing some sort of baseball activity. 10 feet, the wide remote was 10 feet. Oh, 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 you kind of want to see a little more foily sort of action on the front. I don't know, contrary to previous years, um, they wouldn't even do this for you. You'd have to look by like the tiny little numbers on the bottom, if the last two digits were different, then that would be the image variation or a short print or something like that. He finally started doing that, which was, which was awesome. Yeah, me too. The stamping is, uh, is like a game changer. Rex is asking you, when, first time you hooked up two VCRs together to record. Who did that? Anyone do that? I don't think I ever did or known of anyone who did.
Enable laziness, you think, Riffer's arguing? It's good for me. Good for you, so I don't miss any short prints. Are you saying, Riffer, that maybe you'd be able to fleece someone who was a little lazy, didn't know what they had? Here's a bow nailer. Cleveland, this is for you. And Dennis, Dennis Wallace, I'll get this as well. I think another game changer was uh, Tops putting uh, the the team on the redemption. Brian Reynolds and David Hensley to three hundred. Duncan remembers watching a documentary on hip hop and DJ Shadow. Classic. And DJ Shadow would look like a matchbox car with a needle in it that wound up and drove some. Oh yeah. You can actually there's actually a, a lot of a lot of those on like uh whatchamacallit? On like Amazon, you can still like you can still buy those. Some of them actually have like a little speaker attached to it and it'll go around the grooves automatically and it'll play the, uh, it'll play the record. A cool novelty gift for a friend or family member. And I think nowadays they're like, they can, they can come in different shapes. Yeah, the cars are one of the popular ones, but I think it could be like a hamburger or a roll of sushi or something like that. No, no nice Corbin Carrolls. They've all just been base rookie cards. Nothing, no parallels, no different borders, no gold foils. No autographs, but we still got a little ways to go. So let's see what we can find. Got a Nolan Arenado. We got a Trey Turner, Silver Slugger. 211 out of 399 going to Richard and the Dodgers. Albert Pujols, piece of the jersey, going to David and the Cardinals. Chris Bassett to 2023. That's going to be for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Jeremy. And the final box coming up. Those two stacks represent the 12th and final box. Um, if you look at the break schedule that's dropped in the chat, we're going to do the Prism Value Pack right after this. We're really ahead of schedule, too. And we've got, a, we've got that Immaculate Filler, which is a buy one, get one. It's down to nine. So let's let's try to get that going. And we have an outside chance of maybe getting we're gonna do that luminaries, maybe getting this that pick your team two luminaries going tonight. Which would be kind of awesome. We would have time for it. Because uh Michael Jaspi helped us out big time by uh stacking some packs for us. 
And so we are way ahead of schedule. Correct. This is, this is the opposite of the luminaries break, which is going to be... I mean, after you watch this and then watch the luminaries break, you're going to be like, that went too fast. Because your brain is in like series two mode and then all of a sudden... I mean, listen, Riffer, I, I could stretch out that luminaries break for it to be an hour and 36 minutes, if you'd like. Justin Verlander, league leader, Triple Crown. All right, we can do a name that player, Luminaries Edition, then we'll break down the skills of that player. You know, do a, do a career retrospective if it's a retired player. It's Casey Mize. We got Yuli Gurriel to 499 and a Garrett Cole relic. The NFL memorabilia break, I don't know if we do a who am I for that. that. That would take forever. Not with 70 boxes. I'll just put to imagine if we got an Otani hot box. It's Kyle Tucker to twenty All right, half a box. And then, oh, I'm glad I wrote down two Super Bowl Square giveaway here because I definitely forgot. Tolia gold foil and a Cody Bellinger to 299. Not signed anywhere yet. Kind of odd. Or maybe not. Maybe it's not odd. I with that one. I think he's expecting a lot of money. The teams will want to give him money. Twenty twenty three is Kyle Schwarber for the Phillies, Darren McKenzie. Mm -hmm. 
Randy Johnson, Kodai Senga, and a Robbie Ray. Six out of 25. Seattle, that's going to be Darren with the extra spot that he won. Gets the Baseball Stars autograph card. I feel like we've gotten some solid. I know it's it's definitely a long break, but I feel like we've gotten some. We're going to do a recap right after this. Um, I feel like it's going to be. I feel like we're going to see uh, some pretty nice hits in this break. Yohan Mankata to 299. Oh, got, got silver packs to do. And then we're done. Popper's around? No. All right. Maybe a surprise auto in here? Oh, maybe that might be a surprise auto in here. Or a surprise gold. I'll take a parallel. 32 out of 50 on that Michael Massey. That'll be for uh, David, Kansas City. We got another card flipped around here. And it's Sandy Alcantara. Alcantara. 62 out of 99. That'll be for uh, Charles in the Marlins. And we got a Mark Appel, blue, 62 out of 150 for the Phillies. That's going to go to Darren. And now we're done. Thanks, everybody. We made it. Thank, big thanks to Michael Jaspi who helped us pack stack this and made this more of a breeze, which I appreciate. Before I do the recap, let's give away the Super Bowl squares. It's going to be the top two. Let's gather everybody's names here. Oh, that was from the randomizer at the beginning of the video. New dice, new list. It's going to be one and a three, four times. Top two after four. Good luck, fingers crossed. One, two, three, and fourth and final time. Now a lot of sad faces here. The saddest face, Jeremy, very close, but just not quite. We'll get him next time. Three through 30, thank you for trying. Hopefully we got you some stuff in the break. Top two, squares. That's gonna be David with some squares. That extra spot coming in handy. And Tristan, that extra spot coming in handy. Both of you, after four, got some squares. We'll see you in that promo later this week. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Bye-bye.